Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a journey of transformation, a path that leads to a destination not sought after, but often misunderstood the destination of respect. But our quest for life, one of the greatest accolades we can achieve, is the respect of our peers, our community, and most importantly, ourself. It is not merely an act like bestowed upon us by others. It is a reflection of our inner world, our choices and our actions. But how do we navigate this path? How do we mold ourselves into individuals? Who command respect not by demand, but through the sheer force of their character and actions? The answer lies not in changing the world around us, but in changing ourselves. The journey to being respected by everyone starts with a single step. Take it a day, a step towards self-improvement, personal growth, and understanding the true essence of respect. Respect is not just an external acknowledgement. It is an internal state of being. It begins with how we view ourselves, how we treat ourselves, and how we project our values and beliefs into the world. It's about aligning our actions with our deepest conviction and living a life that's true to ourselves. When we respect ourselves, we lay the foundation for others to respect us. As we embark on this journey together today, remember principles and practices. We will explore our timeless, they have been the guiding light for many who have walked this path before us and will continue to light the way for those who walk it after us. These principles are simple yet profound, easy to understand, but challenging to implement. Yeah, the rewards they bring are immeasurable. So let us begin this journey with an open mind and a willing heart. Let's explore how we can apply these principles today and start a transformation that will not only change how the world sees us, but more importantly, how we see ourselves. Let's unlock the doors to a life of respect, dignity, and honor. In the grand tapestry of life, where countless threads of experiences and interactions weave the story who we are, there lies a fundamental truth, the bedrock of all relationships, achievements and personal fulfillment. This truth simply yet profound is the essence of self-respect. It's the understanding that before the world can value us, we need to value ourselves. This is where our journey to being respected by everyone truly begins. Self-respect is not an outward show, a badge we wear for the world to see. It's an inward understanding, a quiet confidence that doesn't need to shout to be heard. It's the knowledge that we are worthy, not because of accolades or accomplishments, but because of our inherent human dignity. Now let's ponder this. How often do we look in the mirror and truly see the person staring back at us? Do we see someone worthy of respect, kindness, and love? The journey to self-respect starts with this recognition. It's about greeting yourself each morning not with criticism or comparison, but with acceptance and appreciation for who you are right at that moment. But self-respect goes beyond mere self-acceptance, about living in a way that aligns with your deepest values and beliefs. It's about making choices that reflect not just what you want, but who you are. Every decision, every action is a brick and the advisor of your self-worth. When you choose honesty over deceit, hard work over shortcuts, kindness over indifference. You're not just building respect in the eyes of others, you're fortifying your own self-respect art. In this journey, remember, self-respect doesn't mean you won't face or challenges, make mistakes, but it's in these moments that self-respect becomes your guiding star. It gives you the strength to admit your mistakes, learn from them, and move forward with greater wisdom. It's the quiet assurance that even when you falter, you're not defined by your failures. Moral over self-respect is about setting boundaries. It's about knowing when to say Aussie and having a courage to say oh. These boundaries aren't walls to keep the world out. They're markers that define your space where your rights in and others begin. When you set healthy boundaries, you teach others how to treat you, laying the groundwork for mutual and respect. understanding. 
Remember self-respect is not a static state. It's a dynamic process. It grows with every act of courage, every step of integrity, and every choice that honors your true self. It's a journey of 1,000 miles. That begins with a single step, a step of self-awareness, self-compassion, and self-love. So, as we navigate the complexities of life, seeking respect and admiration from those around us, let's turn our gaze inward. Let's nurture the seed of self-respect, watering it with our choices, our actions, and our beliefs. As this seed grows into a strong, resilient tree, it will not only provide safe for ourselves, but also for those around us. In the end, the respect we receive from the world is a reflection of the respect we have for ourselves. Let's embark on this journey of self-respect and watch as the world mirrors the respect we cultivate within ourselves. In the unfolding story of our lives, there's a chapter that many often overlook, yet it holds the key to not just success, but to the respect and admiration we yearn for from others. This chapter is personal development. Personal development is not just about acquiring skills or knowledge. It's a transformative journey that shapes our character, enhances our potential, and amplifies our impact on the world. Is it a personal development? Is the art of sculpting the self? Just as a sculptor chisels away at a block of marble to reveal a beautiful statue, we too must chisel away at our limitations, fears and doubts to reveal our true potential. It's a process of continuous growth where each day brings new opportunities to, to improve and to evolve. The power of personal development lies in its ability to change. Not just what we do, but who we are. When we commit to personal growth, we embark on a journey of self-discovery. We begin to understand our strengths and weaknesses, our passions and fears. This understanding is crucial. For it's only when we know ourselves that we can begin to shape ourselves into the person we aspire to be. One of the most beautiful aspects of personal development is that it's a journey without an end. There was always something new to learn, a new skill to master, a new aspect of ourselves to improve. This endless journey keeps us vibrant, energetic, and always moving forward. It prevents us from becoming stagnant from resting on our laurels, and from becoming complacent with mediocrity. Moreover, personal development is not a selfish pursuit. When we improve ourselves, we're better equipped to help others to contribute positively to our communities and to make a meaningful impact in the world. Like a candle that lights others without diminishing its own flame. We grow, we inspire those around us to grow creating a ripple effect of positive change and mutual respect. Now let's talk about respect in the context of personal development. Respect is often earned by those who demonstrate a commitment to growth, to excellence, and to making a difference. When people see us driving to be our best selves, overcoming obstacles, and continuously learning, they can't help or respect us. Our dedication to personal development becomes a beacon of inspiration, commanding respect and admiration. But remember, personal development is not a race or competition. It's a personal journey unique to each individual. Not about comparing ourselves to others, but about measuring our progress against who we were yesterday. Each small step forward is a victory, a testament to our commitment to becoming better stronger and more capable. In this relentless pursuit of personal growth, we find not just sass and achievement, but a deep sense of fulfillment and respect. We become not just achievers, but leaders, pioneers, and role models. We become beacons of hope and inspiration, showing others what's possible. When we commit to the never-ending journey of personal development, so as we forge ahead in our lives, let's make personal development a priority. Let's embrace the challenge of continuous growth and self-improvement. And let's do it not just for the accolades, the respect it brings, but for the profound satisfaction of knowing that we are always moving towards the best version of ourselves. This is the power of personal development.
a power that transforms not just individual lives, but the world at large. As we journey through the vibrant tapestry alive, we cross paths with countless souls, each interaction weaving a thread in the intricate web of our existence. It's in these intersections of life, these moments of connection, where the magic of strong relationships is born. The art of building and nurturing relationships is not just a skill, it's a fundamental aspect of a fulfilling life and a cornerstone of earning genuine respect. Imagine each relationship as a garden. Just as a gardener requires attention, care and the right nourishment to flourish, so do our relationships. They thrive on the soil of understanding, the water of compassion, and the sunlight of shared experiences in this card. And every word we every speak, every action we take is like a seed that a cause the potential to grow into a beautiful flower of connection or a weed of discord. Building strong relationships starts with genuine interest in others. It's about stepping outside our own world and stepping in the world of another person. So listening not just with the intention to reply, but with the intention to understand. When we listen deeply, we create a space where others feel seen. Heard and valued this act of listening is a simple, yet powerful way to build respect and trust. Communication is the bridge that connects us to others. It's not just about what we say, but how we say in a tone of our voice. The words we choose, the attention we give. All these elements play a crucial role in strengthening our relationships. Clear, honest, and empathetic communication creates a foundation of trust. A key ingredient in any strong relationship. Empathy is the heart of strong relationships. It's the ability to put ourselves in someone else's shoes to feel what they feel. And to see the world from their perspective. Empathy builds a bond of understanding and compassion, making others feel supported and respected. It's a language that speaks directly to the heart, breaking down barriers and forging deep, meaningful connections. But strong relationships are not just about understanding. And empathy, they're also about respect and boundaries. Respect for others' opinions, beliefs, and choices even when they differ from our own. It's about honoring the uniqueness of each individual, celebrating our differences rather than letting them divide us. Boundaries, on the other hand, help us maintain a healthy balance in our relationships. They allow us to give without depleting ourselves, to receive without feeling overwhelmed. Remember strong relationships were not built overnight. We require time, effort, and patience. They're like a dance, the delicate balance of give and take. It's about being there for others, but also allowing them to be there for us. We got sharing our joys and our sorrows. triumphs and failures. In this terrible vulnerability, we find strength and build respect. In building strong relationships, we not only enrich our own lives, but also the lives of those around us. We create a network of support, understanding and mutual respect. These relationships become our haven, our source of strength and joy. So let us commit to building strong. Healthy relationships, let's nurture them with kindness, water them with compassion, and let them bask in the sunlight of mutual respect and understanding. In doing so, we not only create a life filled with meaningful connections, but also earn the respect and admiration of whose those. lives we taught. This is the power of building strong relationships. A power that has the ability to transform not just individual lives, but the world at large. In the grand journey of life, where each of us thrives to leave our mark, there lies a path less spoken about, yet immensely powerful. The path of professional excellence. This is not just about climbing the corporate ladder or massing titles and accolades. It's about crafting a legacy of excellence, integrity, and respect in our professional lives. It's a journey where the pursuit of excellence becomes a beacon, guiding us towards respect and admiration from our peers, colleagues, and the industry at large. Think of professional excellence as a canon, and you are the artist. 
Each stroke of the brush, each choice of color, each nuance, and the texture represents your decisions, actions, and contributions in your professional life. The masterpiece you create is not just a reflection of your and skills, abilities, but a testament to your commitment to excellence, your dedication to your craft, and your integrity in your dealings. The pursuit of professional excellence begins with a commitment to lifelong learning. The world around us is ever-evolving and to excel, we must evolve with it. It's about embracing change, seeking new knowledge, and being open to new ideas and perspectives. There's a journey of continuous improvement where each day offers an opportunity to learn something new, to refine our skills, and to expand our horizons. This commitment to growth not only enhances our capabilities, but also signals to others our dedication to being the best in our field. But excellence in the professional sphere is more than just personal skill and knowledge, and about how we interact with others, how we lead, how we contribute to the success of our team and organization. It's about embodying the qualities of a good leader, integrity, accountability, empathy, and the ability to inspire motivate others. Great leaders are not just remembered for their achievements, but for the impact they have on the lives of their team members. They earn respect not through authority, but through their actions and their ability to bring out the best in others. Professional excellence also involves a high degree of and integrity. It's about doing the right thing, even when no one is watching. It's about being honest in our dealings, transparent in our communications, and consistent in our actions. This integrity builds trust. And trust is the currency of respect in the professional world. When people know they can count on us to be honest and ethical, we earn their respect and admiration. Moreover, professional excellence is about making a difference, it's about using our skills, knowledge, and position to contribute positively to our organization our industry and society at large. It's about leaving things better than we found them about adding value in every interaction, every task we undertake. This contribution does not go unnoticed. It builds the reputation of excellence and respect that transcends job titles in organizational charts. In essence, the pursuit of professor professional excellence is a journey of self mastery. They are not mastering our skills, our emotions, our interactions, and our impact on the world. It's a journey that demands hard work, dedication, and a relentless pursuit of greatness. But the rewards of this journey are immeasurable. Not just in terms of career success, but in the respect and admiration we earn from those around us. So let's embark on this journey with the commitment to excellence, a dedication to continuous learning, and an unwavering adherence to integrity and ethics. Let's strive to be leaders who inspire, professionals who excel, and individuals who leave a lasting impact. This is the path to professional excellence and respect. A path that shakes not just our careers, but our character and our legacy, but in the grand theater of life, where each act and seen contributes we to the We write there's a role that often goes unsung, yet it holds immense power in shaping our narrative. This role is our involvement in the community, our contribution to the world, beyond our personal and professional spheres. It's a journey in extending our hands and hearts to causes greater than ourselves. And in this journey, we find not just fulfillment, but also a deep sense of respect and admiration from those around us. Think of community involvement as a symphony where each individual's contribution is a unique note, adding depth and harmony to the collective melody. When we engage with our community, be it through volunteering, activism, or simply lending a helping hand, we are participating in this symphony. We're not just giving our time or resources. We're sharing a part of ourselves, our compassion, our empathy, and our humanity. This engagement with the community does more than just help those in need. At all transforms us. It broadens our perspective, deepens our understanding of the world, and connects us with people from all walks of life.
It's a humbling experience that teaches us gratitude, kindness, and the true value of giving. And in this giving, we receive something invaluable. The respect and admiration of our community. Respect in the community is or not through wealth, status, or power, but through the selfless act of giving. Of being of service to others. It's about being a part of something bigger than ourselves about making a positive impact in the lives of others. People respect those who step up, who they got in, who contribute to the betterment of society. This respect is not demanded. It's naturally bestowed upon those who show they care, who demonstrate that they're willing to make a difference. Moreover, community involvement is a powerful demonstration of leadership. True leadership is about service about putting the needs of others before our own. When we take the initiative to lead community projects, to organize events for a cause, or to advocate for those without a voice, we're displaying the qualities of a true leader. And these qualities empathy, selflessness, courage, command respect in a way that no title or position ever could. In addition, being actively involved in the community helps us build strong, meaningful connections these connections are not based on what we can gain, but on what we can give they're built on shared goals, common values, and the collective pursuit of a better world. These relationships, forging the fires of service and compassion, are grounded in mutual respect and admiration. So let us embrace our role in the community. Let's step out of our comfort zones, reach out to those in need, and be a force for positive change. Whether it's helping at a local shelter, mentoring the youth, participating in environmental conservation, or any other form of community service. Every act of kindness counts. It's these acts that define us, that shape our character, and that earn us the and admiration of our community. In conclusion, our involvement in the community is not just a duty. No, it's a privilege. It's an opportunity to grow, to learn, and to connect. It's a path that leads to a richer, more fulfilling life. And as we walk this path, we gain not just the respect but of others, but a deeper respect for ourselves. For and giving we receive and serving, we are elevated. This is the essence of community, involvement, and social respect. A journey that enriches both our lives and the lives of those around us. In the journey of life, where every step is a testament and to our And every character. decision paints a picture of who we are. The principles of consistency and authenticity emerge as pivotal forces. These forces not only shape our identity, but also dictate the level of respect and admiration we command from those around us. As we reflect on the impact of community involvement and sense social respect, we recognize that these virtues of consistency and authenticity are the very bedrock upon which such respect is built. Consistency in its essence is the rhythm of reliability that we bring to our daily lives. It's the unwavering commitment to our values, the steadfast dedication to our goals and the predictable pattern of our behavior that fosters trust and credibility. This isn't about rigidly adhering to routines or being inflexible. Rather, it's about maintaining a core of steadiness in all our endeavors. The power of consistency lies in its ability to create a legacy of dependability. Just like the steady beat of a drum and a symphony, our consistent actions provide a stable backdrop to the chaotic melody of life. Imagine a world where every person you interact with, colleagues to family members, shows up with the same level of commitment and reliability every day. This world thrives on the predictability and security that consistency brings. It's such a world respect is a natural outcome, not a forced obligation. When we are consistent in our actions and words, we become a trusted and respected member of our community in social circles. Authenticity, the twin pillar, the consistency. That all about the courage to be true to oneself. It's about aligning our external actions with our internal beliefs and values in a world where social masks are common. 
Being authentic is like a breath of fresh air. About shedding the layers of pretense and embracing the beauty of our real selves. Authenticity is not just about honesty with others. It's profoundly about being honest with ourselves. Cause authenticity is magnetic. It draws people towards us, not because of a facade of perfection, but because of the genuine, raw and real human experience that we share. Authenticity builds connections that are rooted in truth and sincerity. These connections are imbued with respect and admiration as they are, based on the most honest version of ourselves. Now, when we read the threads of consistency and authenticity together, we create a fabric of character that is both strong and genuine. This character is not easily swayed by external pressure or fleeting trends instead. It stands firm in the face of adversity and true to itself in the mirror of self-reflection. This combination is a powerful catalyst for earning respect. People naturally gravitate towards individuals who not only know who they are, but also consistently demonstrate their true selves and their actions and decisions. In our communities where our actions are observed and our characters are judged, being both consistent and authentic sets us apart. It makes us role models leaders in our own right, regardless of our titles or positions. It makes us the kind of people others look up to, not just for what we have achieved, but for who we are reliable, trustworthy, genuine, and true. In conclusion, if we continue our journey through life, let us thrive to cultivate and nurture these qualities of consistency and authenticity. Let them be the guiding principles in our interactions, our work, and our contributions to society. For there, there's through these principles that we can build a legacy of respect and admiration Legacy that transcends our actions and speaks to the very core of our being. This is the path to a life lived with purpose, integrity, and profound respect. Get better. There isn't any of us that can't get better. So turn on this whole idea of personal development and personal growth. That was what my teacher shared with me to change my life. Starting a few steps from here at that convention. I'm telling you for things to get better. You gotta get better. Don't ask for it to change out there. Ask for you to change Don't here. ask for more favorable wind. We call that naive. Don't ask for better seed. Better soil. This is the only planet you got. Just ask that you can get wiser and stronger and better. Be able to take care of your own responsibilities. Get better. Learn how to handle the seasons better. Let's go through them. Just get better at handling the winters. You can't change the winter. You can't change the seasons. But you can change yourself. You see. What can I do about the upcoming winters of my the life? challenges that I know I'm gone to Here's face. what you can do. You can get wiser and stronger and better. Just make a list of that trio of words wiser stronger and better go home smarter than you came go home with more ideas than you came with next get stronger you can develop the muscle you can develop the courage muscle you can develop the inspiration muscle you can develop the dedication muscle you can get stronger there's anybody here that can't get stronger. Next time we see you may not even recognize How you. strong you're going to be able to become in language. Style personality. The ability to cope. The ability to handle with anything that happens. No matter what happens. And the third one is get better. We can all get better. I've gotten better. First talk I gave I stood up. My mind sat back down. Here's the secret to my success. I stood up and did it again. I stood up and I did it again, and I did it again, and I did it again. All those many years ago I did it when I was scared, and I did it when I didn't want to, and I did it when I was ill, and I did it when it didn't work well, and I didn't, did it when they didn't appreciate it, and I didn't. A lot of times when I didn't know much what I was doing, I just did it anyway. And now all these years later, I'm asked to walk on this stage. 
with the greatest introduction I've ever had, greatest response and welcome I've ever had, the greatest opportunity I've ever had to touch this many lives with a mixture of words and heart and soul. I got better. I got better day by day and week by week and months by month. And I'm asking you to do the same thing until you can develop a long arm and a long reach. Until you can develop influence that won't touch quit. people next year you couldn't touch this year. Touch people now you couldn't touch before. Conduct a meeting now you couldn't conduct before. Heart and soul now mixed in there that wasn't there is missing before I'm asking all of you to get better. In spite of the winters, in spite of the downturn, the money downturn, the social downturn, the personal downturn, whatever it is, just get stronger. Get better. The key is not to wish for a better winter. The key is to wish for more strength, more wisdom, more courage. Get better, get wiser, get stronger. Here's no two. Learn to take advantage of the spring. Spring means opportunity. And we've got a fresh spring going here. It's called a spring like no other. A spring and opportunity like no other for you. But here's the clue. Spring is not a guarantee of a harvest in the fall. In the autumn harvest time. Here's what you must learn to do. Underline the two words if you're taking Take notes. advantage. Take advantage of the spring. Don't just be faked out by the spring. Because the nice weather has come. Looks like everything is going to be a lot The better. winter's finally passed. The spring is here, I'm telling you. That's not going to do it for just you. Just because the spring is, is here. Is not going to do it you for gotta you. You got to seize it with your own to hands. And take advantage. Read the books. Study the tapes. Go back through your notes. Get ready to cash in on the spring. And now there's a sense of urgency. Here's here. why spring doesn't last that long generally. Take advantage it's of it. It's called take advantage of the spring. And there's also an urgency here. How many springs have you got in a lifetime? Not very many. Life is brief at the longest. The Beatles wrote life is very short. And for John Lennon, it was extra short. For Michael Landon, it was extra short. But it is short, there's an urgency here. Don't waste your springs, don't just let them pass. Pass, pass, hoping the time will pass. Take advantage. Last year was seized the moment. And I'm asking you now, this season to seize the spring opportunity. You got a new organization going. Seize the spring. You got a new distributor going. Seize the going. spring. You got a new life situation going. Seize the spring. Take advantage of it. Don't let it pass without giving it the best of your two hands. And your attention, no. Three, first learn how to handle the winter. Second, take advantage of the spring. No, three in the summer. Learn to nourish and protect. We've got some major challenges now come summertime. One is to nourish our values. Take care of them, feed them. Don't let him go hungry. Don't let him go wanting and nourishment and care. Then there's something else we've got to do in the summer. Defend ourselves against the enemies. Summertime is a unique time. It's a time of opportunity. It's also a time of challenge. But what whatever threatens you? I'm asking you to threaten it back. Take care of your responsibility. But don't take anything off anybody. Somebody wants to destroy your chances for a good future by their negative talk, negative thinking. Put it all down, I'm telling you. Walk away if you have to walk away. Whatever threatens you, threaten it back. Whatever threatens your opportunity, threaten it back now. Some of our enemies are on the outside. But here's the most important thing to understand. Some of our enemies are on the inside. Let me give you a quick list. Indifference. You gotta do battle with your own indifference. Boy, it's easy to coast. 
Especially if you've accomplished something. You know extraordinary. Now some body says, I gotta relax, here's the key not too long. The weeds will take all your plant if you rest too long. Don't rest too long. Indecision. You gotta make those decisions. The ones that don't turn out to be good gives you experience to make better decisions. Don't let much time go by without making some decisions. The ones that you can make quickly. Make them quickly the ones that take time. Take your time, but get those decisions made. Don't let indecision be an enemy. Rob you the future, empty your bank account. Leave you with zero in the purse, don't let that happen. The next one is doubt. Sure, there's doubts on the outside. People doubt that America's gonna make it. People doubt that Europe's gonna make it. People doubt that Russia's gonna make the it. The Poland's gonna the make it. The Czechoslovakia's gonna make it. They doubt the whole world is gonna make it. But I'm asking you not to pick up all those doubts. I'm asking you to have some faith. Have some courage, believe. Drive your doubts into a small corner. Don't let them loose like a mad dog. Drive you into a small corner. Don't doubt the future. Don't doubt the possibilities. Don't doubt the extraordinary gift that your distributors bring to your organization. Don't doubt that. And here's the most important one Don't of all. doubt yourself. So do you if I've got the ability to read? So do you if I can discover? So can you if I can grow? You can grow. If I can develop, you can develop. If I can get an invitation like I got six years ago, help take something around the world. So can you if I can stand on this platform? Idaho farm boy raising obscurity. So can you if the millionaire team can do it? President's team can do it. Walk off with the diamonds, the trophy, so can you. I'm asking you don't sell yourself short. We haven't sold you short. That's why Mark Larry and Dr. Cotson and I've decided to invest a big share of our life these for days and being with all of you. If we didn't think you were worth it, we wouldn't have showed up. We don't need to connect another meeting. We don't need to walk on another stage. We don't need to get up early like we get up. Don't need it except for the challenge and the opportunity to invest in this many people's lives. Who wouldn't get up early to have a chance to work miracles and invest in this many people's lives and help turn the world upside down for better nutrition called Herbalife.